Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lucio Chalky. I'm with West Hartford Continuing Education. And this is my second show with the community television. And I wanted to share some information with you about trips we have coming up with our wonderful program. I've been with the program for 20 years as a trip coordinator with the school system and this is my second show and I'm totally excited about sharing this information with you. Uh, what we do is we do wonderful day trips um, in the area. We do local day trips to Boston, New York, Newport. We do wonderful um, overnights from time to time and I wanted to share with you some information about the fall uh, which is uh, ongoing. We have a wonderful trip coming up on November 5th to the uh, New York City, Union Square Green Market. Uh, I do a wonderful trip called a foodie trip, which I created years ago based on my love of New York City food and shopping. So I combined it to uh, bring people all over the city to show them places they may not uh, normally see. And it's been very popular and very well subscribed. And what we do is we go to the oldest and best green market in the city is right in Union Square. And there are farmers from six states that come to the grain market several times a week to uh, share their uh, information about their products, their produce. There's wonderful fish stalls, meat, produce. Um, I, I buy wonderful Thanksgiving vegetables at this one stand that has uh, a specialty in root vegetables. There are uh, just wonderful informational uh, seminars there. There's wonderful tours there that you can take of the area and it's just a great gathering place and it's a great place to start uh, if, you, if you're a cook, you're a would-be cook, uh, it's a great place to start um, exploring new varieties of produce, new meats, new fishes, new cheeses that you may never have come across from this you know six state area. Uh, some of the farmers have been there for many, many years, and we have a lot of fun just picking out uh, things that are just really special to bring back. And then on this particular day, we go over to Little Italy in Chinatown in New York, and what we do is we um, visit this wonderful store in Little Italy called DiPaolo's, which has uh, imported Italian goods from every region of Italy. The DiPaolo's are a really famous name in New York for uh, their specialty shop. They've been in business for about three generations. So we bring you over there and you can pick up your wonderful prosciutto, your cheeses, your olive oils, your vinegars, your wonderful ciabatta bread, their fresh made pasta. Uh, there's another wonderful store on the same street. It's called Grand Street and they have wonderful fresh pasta and dried pastas called Piemonte. And you can have wonderful cappuccino at Ferrara's across the street. And that's a wonderful uh, part of the day where we just um, enjoy this beautiful area that has been around for many, many years. And Chinatown is a really thriving, bustling, hustling part of the city where there's a wonderful Asian grocery store right on Canal Street called Come On. So what I do is I allow you to have time to have lunch at these areas. I give you some information about great restaurants that you may visit and you come back with wonderful goodies uh, that you really enjoy. And then at the end of the day, there's a wonderful uh, old-fashioned deli grocery store on the Upper West Side, a gourmet store called Zabar's, which has been around for many time. They started out as a great little smoked meat, smoked fish counter, and uh, they're just a prime part of the Upper West Side. They have wonderful in-house roasted coffees, breads, uh, wonderful olive oils from both California and Spain. 
Uh, they have a wonderful mezzanine with housewares. You can get everything from little seven inch tarp pans to vacuum cleaners and food processors and in-house made knives. Um, we really uh, very, very much enjoy bringing you and uh, dropping you off and enjoying the day in the city. And that is on November 5th on Saturday. We still have registrations open for that right now. And also, we uh, do a food trip in the spring called a regular foodie trip, which goes to Zabar's Little Italy in Chinatown and also a wonderful spy shop called Calistan's on Lexington Avenue and a little area called Curry Hill. So we have two wonderful uh, food shopping trips that we really enjoy taking you on. And uh, we've discovered many wonderful restaurants in the area which we can share with you on that day. And the next trip we have coming up in the fall is a wonderful trip to the Culinary Institute of America and the FDR home in Hyde Park, New York. We have registrations that are still open for this. This is a trip we do every fall. The very first trip I did with Continuing Ed was a trip to the FDR home. Um, he is uh, an amazing figure in American history, is our only four-term president. He was born in Hyde Park. He is, his gravesite is in Hyde Park. There's a wonderful museum that has been updated to the 21st century. We take a nice tour of Springwood, his home in the morning. And then we go over to the Culinary Institute of America to the Caterina de' Medici restaurant and have a lovely lunch in the afternoon. We have a menu that is really a terrific one. We th think you'll really enjoy. Then we go back to Springwood. We go back to the museum to explore in the afternoon. So it's a really wonderful day to uh, explore a wonderful presidential historical site and really it's, a, it's especially uh, important in uh, election year like today to remember uh, this incredible president that we had. On Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on Thanksgiving, we usually take a bus and go right to the parade. We're offering that again this year. We have a great spot that we uh, recommend right around Central Park West where you tur where the parade turns from the uh, the origins of the parade. We have families come, two, three generations. It's a lot of fun. Macy's puts on a really fantastic parade every single year and we re very much enjoyed it. We've had folks come for about five or six years now. So that is on Thanksgiving. In December, um, we usually do two trips. It is a day on your own in New York City, which is filling up pretty fast right now. However, there, I believe there is still room. Uh, what we do is we drop you off in two spots. We drop you off at the Metropolitan Museum on Fifth Avenue. So if you're a museum goer, you're interested in the Upper East Side, that is a great spot to drop off. And we go to Rockefeller Center and drop you off there so that you can enjoy the holiday season. Um, it is the craziest, busiest day of shopping in Manhattan for um, forever. And we really enjoy our, our day there. You can go to Radio City, you can go to Broadway, you can shop and see, enjoy all the Fifth Avenue stores. The um, lovely atmosphere in Rockefeller Center is really enjoyable. So you're, you're willing to do that, we'll take you. We come back at a extra later time. We actually leave the city at 6.30. And what we do on our trips is we usually give you a lot of information about things you might do in the city, things that are happening in the museums. I give you a lot of websites that are worth checking into on that particular day. Um, give you a lot of great information about culinary options or a lot of great tours. You can take a tour of uh, Lincoln Center. Um, you can take a tour of Rockefeller Center. Um, you can go to any museum in the area. There's a lot of great things happening that particular day. And um, on December 8th, what we do is we go to Radio City. And this has been our 14th year of going to Radio City. And what we do is we have wonderful orchestra seats and we enjoy the show. They have the wonderful, uh, the Rockettes, uh, they have the Santa, and we have the a wonderful updating and upgrading of the show every single year. And what we do is we enjoy that. We give you time on your own to have a little lunch in the area, browse, shop, uh, do 
you know, a lot of great things in the city that day. So that is, that is it for the 2016. And our program is presently working on 2017 catalog. We have some new trips coming up, which are really interesting. And one trip we have going right now that we have is the Metropolitan Opera, which is on April 18th. We are now booking seats for the prime orchestra area. Uh, we have a full, pretty full bus, but we're take, still accepting registrations for that day. It's a ways off. The opera is La Traviata, which is one of the most popular operas that there are. Um, if you are a, if you're new to opera, and you would like to check this out, um, it is a great. Uh, it's, it's actually one of my favorites. Uh, when I started listening to opera, I think Carmen and La Traviata really got me interested in an opera and the. Uh, two, two of the most popular ones are Carmen and La Traviata, and so we were very much enjoying that. Opera fans are very, very passionate, and they really enjoy uh, teaching other people about it, and just seeing it at one of the prime spots in New York City is really fabulous. Uh, so we hope you can join us, come with us. Uh, on June 18th, we'll be visiting Boston for the Tall Ships. The tall ships are coming back to Boston for the first time in, I think, 14 years. And uh, we are booking folks for, they will have a grand parade of sail. We're going on a Saturday, which is when all the ships come into Boston with, for the grand parade of sail. And you'll be able to view the ships. You'll be able to tour the ships. So if that is your, your passion, your, if you're an aficionado of Navy, of ships, um, of a beautiful event, Boston puts on a great, great ship. Uh, great, great show for you, for, uh, you know, for the program. So I wanted to just go over the trips we have coming up next year, which will be on the agenda. What we do is we are presently working on a catalog and putting that out uh, towards the end of the year. And one trip we have coming up is the Glass House in New Canaan, Connecticut. This is a trip we'll be doing during the week. Uh, we'll be doing a stop for lunch and visiting this amazing house, a glass house in New Canaan. It is uh, a wonderful uh, studio attached. Philip Johnson was an amazing artist and he uh, is very well revered. So that is a new trip we have coming up. And what we also do uh, next year is we will be going to baseball games. We are a baseball program. We'll be visiting both the Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park. We'll be offering a Red Sox and Yankee trip next year. Now, we are a baseball program, and we go to those two venues. Uh, however, the playoffs are going on right now, and I'm really with the Cubs this year. Um, I think they will break the curse, and I think they will have a fabulous time in Chicago. It's very well reserved and real deserved, and really, a, it's going to be a fabulous time um, in Chicago when they do win. We have a really great section, both at Yankee Stadium and Red Sox Park, that uh, we offer to you. And we'll be doing that sometime in the summertime. We have a, a wonderful group of folks who come with us on a regular basis who really enjoy it. So I hope you can also join us too. And also we have the, the food shopping trip. And we also will be visiting Providence for water fire sometime in the summer or fall. And we'll be offering more wonderful fall foliage trips. Uh, there's possibility of a great overnight that we will be discussing. So, you know, please stay tuned for that. And we really um, love to do shows such as Newport Flower Show at the end of June. We're booking that. Uh, they do a, the Preservation Society of Newport County does a really fantastic job of putting on tours for uh, for the folks who visit Newport. So I hope you can come to that. We'll be doing um, a July 4th concert on the Esplanade. We'll be also offering trips uh, to New York for museums. I do the Metropolitan Museum in the spring, which is a fabulous day. And it's an extended day on a Saturday. And what they have is they have art at the museum from 5,000 years from every culture every part of the earth and they are just an amazing place to spend a day and I recommend coming. Um, I have folks who come every single year who I advise to spend um, 
you know, as much time as you like enjoying every single gallery. There are also other museums on the Upper East Side, uh, such as the Frick, which is, which is a fabulous museum. And we have the Jewish Museum. We have the Cooper Hewitt Museum. There's a great stretch there of the Guggenheim that has uh, modern art. Uh, I think one of the best uh, exhibits I ever saw was the uh, Harley Davidson exhibit uh, at the uh, Guggenheim where all the Harleys were parked all the way up to the, to the top. The, uh, the, the swirling motorcycles were a great, a great exhibit. Uh, that is another one you may visit on your time. There's also the Neu Gallery, the German-Austrian gallery, right across the street from the Mat, which you may visit. Uh, this place is, uh, New York is filled of incredible opportunities. Uh, we visit the uh, museum, um, Jewish Heritage, at the end of Manhattan, at Land's End. There's a skyscraper museum near, the, near Battery Park. We visit uh, Lady Liberty every year. We usually have a full bus. That is something that is very well anticipated. We've been going for 15 years. It's a very, very popular trip. Uh, one other trip that we're offering again in the spring and the fall is the 9-11 Museum, which we just came back from. It's very popular. Uh, what we do is we visit the plaza, which is a very peaceful and serene place to visit to honor those who perished that day. And the museum is a real uh, amazing repository of history about what happened at 9-11. And it is a very visitable, very, uh, very en enriching uh, trip. Uh, we visit the uh, World Trade Center, which, is now, which now has the observatory on the 105th floor. And it is a quick 60 second ride up the elevator to this incredible view. And we'll be offering that in the spring. And if you enjoy that, uh, we would love for you to come more. In Boston, we will visit the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. We'll visit the Museum of Fine Arts. And there are ongoing exhibits and permanent exhibits that are worth visiting at both museums. The Gardner Museum is one where all of the exhibits were left uh, in place by Mrs. Gardner, never to be moved, never to be uh, altered in any way. So when you see it, it's like going back to see an old friend. Um, there, the Fenway is a beautiful area to visit. We also visit uh, the North End and Haymarket. We do a day on your own in the spring. And so you can visit the wonderful Italian North End for good eats. Wonderful cappuccino, wonderful prosciutto, ciabatta. There's a wonderful uh, grocery store on Parmenter Street called Salamaria Italiana, which is really great to visit. We visit that on our day on our own. You can visit a friend. You could visit any museum. Um, the uh, food market at Haymarket has been updated and upgraded. There's a wonderful market there to visit. There's a, a real culinary um, bent to my trip. I'm always looking for new places to visit, new places to see, and uh, it's an ongoing process. So I hope you can join us on any of these trips. Uh, and if you would like to uh, get further information, um, my email is toursbydesign at gmail.com and the continuing ed website makes it very, very easy for you to register. What you can do is go on their website. You can create an account, uh, pay online, pay in person, pay by the phone. Our continuing ed office is located in room 419 in town hall, and our staff is always available to register you. Uh, they can forward my number to you if you have questions about future trips. And one of the greatest things that happens on these trips is that I get ideas from you, the passengers, about trips that you would like to do. And we're always looking for more day trips to offer. So we, we welcome your suggestions or we welcome your feedback. And we really um, enjoy bringing these to you. So please contact the Continuing Get Office to register. Um, at any time. I wanted to also share with you um, a couple of other trips that we have with the Continuing Ed program that uh, we're coming up in 2017. Uh, we have um, in the summertime, this is something that is going to be totally fabulous. It is something brand spanking new in the city and we have, it is called the Ice Cream Museum and it came up this year as a pop-up shop and folks just had a really, really fun time with it and 
I spoke with my coordinators and we're always looking for fabulous culinary options in the city. And if you love ice cream, and I know you do, uh, we will be going to the ice cream museum. And one of the fun things to do there is taste, uh, find out all about yummy ice cream. And they also have a pool of sprinkles which you can dive into. And that, I think that would be totally fun to do. So we'll be doing that in the summer of 2017. That's Friends Bank and New. The other thing that we are also uh, checking on various trips coming up is the uh, Brooklyn Borough, which is a very happening borough. It will be a trip that includes a museum, a culinary stop, uh, we're searching uh, foodie destinations for you. Uh, Brooklyn is just endlessly fascinating, and we'll be going there for probably at least a trip or two. We had a fantastic trip a couple of years ago, going walking across the uh, Brooklyn Bridge, and it was just a fabulous day, and taking a tour through the neighborhoods and enjoying, you know, New York City at its best. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic. Brooklyn was actually the first suburb of America. And there's a beautiful view in Brooklyn Heights, which has amazing townhouses. And we will take a nice tour through some of the ethnic neighborhoods of Brooklyn. So you would really very, very much enjoy that. So you can look forward to that in the spring and the fall. Um, the other trip that we were planning on doing in uh, the fall is a trip to Hyde Park, New York. We have uh, several really amazing historic sites in that area along the Hudson River. It is a beautiful fall foliage trip. And what we have is the Vanderbilt Museum, and it is an amazing museum. It is a house built by one of the Vanderbilts uh, from the famous family of Vanderbilts. And we have a tour of the house, and we'll be having a nice lunch nearby and that is a tour. He is a fascinating character in that he was a self-made amongst the Vanderbilts. He was probably one of the poorer Vanderbilts, if you could call a Vanderbilt poor, and he made money on his own. He was uh, fabulous, fabulously rich, and his house is wonderful. We'll be doing that during the fall foliage or Christmas season, so you can look for that. And we really, really always look for things in that area to do. There are, there is Sleepy Hollow. There are other houses nearby which are fabulous to go through. So we are endlessly talking about the trips in the city. You can sign up through Continuing Ed and the number is 860-561-6900 or you can go on their website which is w w whlifelearn.org and you can click on continuing education see our trips and you can certainly call or email me my email is toursbydesign at gmail.com and you can certainly email me anytime and we can certainly register you for anything that's coming up our program is really proactive in finding new things to do and we look for suggestions from you on a regular basis about things that we can do in the area, uh, flower shows, sporting events, uh, one-time only events, chocolate shows we've done in the past. It's a, we do Broadway shows. We're also offering a Broadway you know, day on your own uh, where you can pick up tickets for Broadway and we will give you time to you know, have some lunch on your own prior to. We try to make it very, very easy for you to register with our program. So please join us. Um, our wonderful director is always, always wonderful about uh, ideas and New York and Boston are endlessly fascinating trips and we hope you can join us. So please give me a call, call the program. They can register you anytime and we can uh, take you on lovely trips. So thank you so much for listening. Please spread the word and contact us at any time.